After a sustained media expose on the rice glut in the country, Avnash Industries Limited has begun buying paddy from rice farmers in the Northern region. Peter Kwada to witness a meeting between the Northern head of the company and the farmers at Navrongo on Friday, December 13, that sealed the deal leading to the arrival of the first batch of trucks at Nyangpala. The last two months remained the biggest nightmare for local rice farmers in the country, especially those in the northeast, upper east and other parts of the northern sector. The farmers were thrown into a state of despair as access to combined harvesters, storage facilities and ready markets remained major challenges. Their worst moment came when Avnash Industries Limited made a U-turn on its pledge to buy the produce. TV3, together with some other media houses, highlighted the woes of farmers. This is just disaster because now if, God forbid, when fire comes here, all what you have seen here will go on waste and the farmer is going to suffer. In the sustained effort, Avnash Industries Limited explained their difficulty, insisting unless 6 million tons of paddy purchased in 2018 are sold, they cannot help the farmers. That's why we are pleading. If the government can come in to go to Avnash, buy their rice, and Avnash will come to us and buy. For now, we think Avnash is the only company that can help the farmers. A lot is still in the farm, lying in the sun. And some of the assemblies are also taxing as cancel ticket. We pay one CD per bag to the assembly as cancel ticket. So the farmers are still contributing to government, but we are not getting bias. However, after some consultations, the company came to the rescue of the farmers. Head of Northern Ghana, Rajan Goshal, following a directive from the head office in Tema met with the farmers on Friday, December 13, and agreed on terms and conditions. The agreement was that Avdash will buy all rice produced in the northern sector at 1 CD 30 pesos per kilo. This agreement means a maxi back that the individual traders were buying during the peak of the crisis at 3 for 400 CDs will now be sold between 221 and 234 cities based on the status of the rice. Additionally, the farmers would have to transport the produce to the factory at Nyangpala for the deal to be completed. The decision was communicated to the farmers and before noon Saturday, December 14, scores of trucks had lined up near Avnash Industries Limited at Nyangpala ready to weigh and discharge. For now, the farmers can heave a sigh of relief, though they still have many challenges to contend with on their fields.